Hello, everybody. This is, I guess, a Lamley showcase. It's actually a makeup video because something went completely wrong yesterday in the video I did. Those of you who watched it live last night, you saw me open up the Hot Wheels camouflage set. And then I showed off the cars. And then, because one of the models is a model that I really like and a lot of you like, the Hakoska Skyline, the, what is it, the... 1971 Nissan Skyline HT 2000 GTX. I guess it says it back here, right? Right there. I guess it doesn't say 1971. But nonetheless, because that is a favorite of mine and of many of you, I actually walked through all the castings. And then, right as I was about to sign off, everything went kerplunk. The screen froze. I couldn't turn it off. If I wouldn't have deleted the video, it might still be streaming. And you guys wondering why there was just a blank screen showing it live that you couldn't watch back. So I had to delete the darn thing, which is a bummer. But all you really did, all you're really missing was me actually opening up these models. And I don't know if you really care about that. In fact, I don't think I came across as terribly excited about this set. But I can walk through them now because I'm going to make up for it. I'm going to show you guys the models from the Camouflage series. And then I'm going to walk through those skylines again briefly. And then you've got yourselves a video. And we'll be working into some other cool content in the coming days as well. I'm hinting at some of it here on the screen. Nonetheless, this was a five car set. This was number one of five. And we'll get to it. This is the back as I already showed you. These are the five cars. Camouflage is a theme that Hot Wheels has done. I think this might be the third or fourth time they've done this series. It's here in the United States. It's exclusive to Walmart. Only five cars here. Is there not, well, I said yesterday, I was excited about to show this one. Well, the only reason I want to show it one is to give you guys something to see. This has been out for a while now. I found it several weeks ago before we all went into quarantine. Um, but mainly because of the skyline is why I wanted to show this. And so I'm obviously working it into that. So let's walk through the models. Number one was the skyline. And we'll just do it in order this time. This one you can see camouflage is the theme. It doesn't mean that these cars are totally camouflaged. You can see this one was actually done in kind of a cool manner because you've got this racing style that uh, this Kaido style that um, that the Skyline runs this uh, this racing deco and they've done it in camouflage. You can see it show up a lot. You know this kind of arrow on the top and then the roundels on the side and on you know and more more specifically this racing style which is based on an actual racing style of the Skyline back in the day when it got its racing reputation. But you can see they've played off that and then they've gone with the camouflage pattern. So it's kind of cool. We'll get into this one in a little bit because, um, you know, it's cool and we're going to be walking through it. So that's number one. I don't know what there. Well, I guess we can just throw that right here. Number two. I actually have to like go through these now. Number two is the because I ripped it off with a card, the 2016 Honda Civic Type R. We'll walk through these very quickly. There is the art. Here is the model. This is the previous generation Type R. We haven't seen it much. It uh, debuted, I think, in one or two colors. I've got those in the collection ever since. I think there was the Busy Moto and Zamek, which I've got, but um, kind of upstaged by the newer Type R, which I think is the better looking car. Um, but this one is okay, you know, the camouflage styling of it, you know, but it's a bit of a bummer because it doesn't have the front deco, nor does, or detailing, nor does it have the rear detailing, which on something like this where it needs those headlights and taillights to break it up, um, doesn't totally work. But then again, it's, has camouflage on it, which, you know, isn't a realistic thing either. So, aren't I terrible about trying to show excitement about something I'm not excited about? Uh, Mustang. Right, this is the Super Snake, right? 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. Art on these cards is awesome. I like how they've taken the kind of a graffiti style with the uh, with the camouflage. That's the art. This is the car in gray. Like the styling on it. Um, I mentioned yesterday. I'll say it again today. I like how the Mustangs, at least of the recent Mustangs that Hot Wheels have done, have kind of removed, kind of gone away from the large rear wheels and gone more with the um, standard size all around, which I think looks better on the Mustang, but this one's a nice casting. It was a super treasure hunt once. Uh, decent casting, the Super Snake. Number four is the Camaro. It's the Camaro SS, I believe. Yeah, 2018 Camaro SS. Of all the camouflage stylings, if I wasn't such a big fan, there's the art. Um, 
of the uh, skyline and the way they did that. I kind of like what they did here. They went with the actual camouflage coloring and then put that racing, that kind of racing styling, those racing stripes there on the side, kind of Camaro-ish with the Hot Wheels logo on the back. So that one actually looks pretty good. I've done a nice job here. It does miss the uh, front and rear detailing like they all do, but not a bad model at all. Still not going in the collection. Only the uh, Hakosuka will go in. And last, number five of five, is the El Camino. 1968 El Camino with sideways engine in the back. Always interesting. Art is there. And this one looks cool in pink with the five spokes. White uh, lipped five spokes. Hot Wheels and pink are always an event. And this is an interesting one with the uh, side sideways engine there in the back. Kind of cool interesting kind of a fun casting and there you go but let's talk skylines let's walk through these i'll try and do it a little quicker than we did on the live feed on live feeds i tend to try and interact with you guys when they go longer but this is the reason why i thought it was a good time to walk through the hokoska skyline we've done we've seen a lot of skylines of late a lot in car culture hokoska is no exception it's been in there twice um, we haven't seen this as a super treasure hunt we haven't seen it uh in rlc or anything like that i wonder if that day will come but a lot of people will credit this casting is being one of the originators of the JDM era. You know, I've talked a lot about this a lot, but June will talk about this. He re he designed this one, June Amai, uh, former Hot Wheels designer. He designed the Hokoska Skyline. This is the, uh, you know, the GTX. And then the Ken Mary GTR and released him in the same year, 2011. The Datsun 510 was already out. It was a bit of a peg warmer. And then, of course, the wagon came after that and then of course that's opened up the floodgates and we've seen skylines and laurels and sylvias and everything else sunnies cosmos all coming around the gate coming around the pipe down the pipe is that the right term i don't know anyway this one may be one of those originators that really brought in the era it was something very new for collectors to see and uh the hakoska meaning box i know a box is part of the word the description of the styling of the car the silhouette of the car um, is an iconic skyline and this one coming in that racing deco which we see come a couple more times later on was a cool introduction to that skyline then it went premium i think it actually skipped a year and then it went premium 2013 in boulevard you guys have seen this one uh, released with the Datsun wagon in the same mix of the first mix of 2013 in boulevard um, i have talked about this so much that uh, i don't need to spend a lot of time but if you didn't know there's actually a variation of this car. So you can see it's really nice and clean. It's metal flake, kind of a gunmetal metal flake, matte black hood, but there is a version with the painted fenders, matte black as well, and without. The without is far more rare, and you'd call it an error most of the time, but considering it has all the other detailing, and there was quite a few of these without the painted uh, fenders. Not a ton, but enough to, to I think, can make it a variation. I tend to not collect variations anymore, but I had these already and I've kept them and I enjoy having that pair. And I do like that look without the painted fender. So there's two versions of that one. I got a few others. I got a couple others that have variations. That it's a more of a standard variation. In order to save a fraction of the penny, they eventually ditch the roll cage, just a little bit less plastic to produce, uh, maybe in the way they, they make the model. So this was the next basic version, I think in 2013 as well, maybe 14. I'll get my years off, but in black, plain stripes, kind of a nice, cool, clean version. Really like it with the gold MC5s. And so it had, so I think, well, I don't remember which one had more. I think it was kind of 50% with the roll cage. That was the time that they started producing it without the roll cage. I can put these together again, like the other two, so you can kind of see the difference. See roll cage on the bottom, non-roll cage on the top. doesn't make a huge difference in the car, and I think they just decided that themselves so we've actually seen that variation pop up occasionally a couple times since including on the re one recolor of the car uh that year which was the zamac the walmart zamac raw don't know if i really like the green and yellow combination it's the same deco as the black one and then that bright green interior but this one that was released with the roll cage rare or small numbers on that one so that's the more rare of the two and i think commands a decent amount of money these days i didn't find it myself i had to trade for it um and then obviously without so there it is i actually liked i showed this yesterday i actually like these two together in the collection because for some reason it's just kind of random but for some reason one is looks much more glossy enameled 
and the other one doesn't and they really you can see with and without the roll cage but the difference between the two is kind of crazy you can see that that kind of almost unenameled I think they're both enameled but one really looks different than the other one and I really like that uh, combination in my collection those two together they're just so darn different and uh, I haven't seen a pair that looks that different but it's kind of cool all right back to premium or kind of medium premium this is Hot Wheels Heritage this mix I can't remember what the it was Heritage then one mix then we'll go to Red Lines the or I'm sorry then we'll go Real Riders the next one so Heritage got the uh, Red Line kind of the classic Red Line wheels these are the black walls with the Red Line stripes on it um, metal base plastic wheels and then not full deco, so kind of that medium premium that they used to do. They don't really do this much anymore, this kind of 2 to $3 range premium. Like it might have real riders and metal base, but not full deco, kind of like what car, where car culture started. That's a pretty kind of throwback deco on it. it had a twin uh, Ken Mary Skyline um, that was red with black stripes. Then back to special Walmart edition. This is the Kaido Racer from Road Trippin'. I believe that's what the series was called. This was very hard to find for some reason. I think it's just because the casting was becoming very popular. I don't think there was a variation on the roll cage here on this one. Just came without it. But uh, I found this one at one Walmart and uh, never saw it since. So I was happy to have that Kaido Racer uh, road tripping skyline. Then back to premium. So this one may be the most significant. You see that racing deco is back. This racing deco is a real... It's not exactly licensed but it's an homage it's kind of a tribute to that racing style of the uh, of the Hakoska skyline that was done in several colors I know I've seen it in red blue and green like they've done it in Hot Wheels and there might have been a yellow as well but um, yeah they've gone back to this theme a couple of times this was the next the second time you can see Japanese nostalgic car JCCS logo on it um, June's name on the back this is from the first mix of car culture Japan historics one so didn't get the full deco, but you see it got all the other premium treatments. And then, of course, car culture has changed since then. It's full deco. Back to basic. Roy de Guzman's car. Roy is a good friend, lives in Las Vegas, part of the Wild Cards. Wild Cards is a car group that um, specializes, a cool bunch of dudes, folks, specializes in nostalgic Japanese cars. And this is a cool story because Roy owns a Hakoska Skyline. Got in Japan when he was in the military, brought it home with him. And um, he's he's given it all kinds of different looks. And in this particular look, he did it for JCCS. This special, you can see it's kind of uh it's a it's uh it's got some hints on that racing, that racing style, including the blank roundel on the side. He brought it to JCCS, June and I saw it and said, Hey, can we do that for Hot Wheels? It looks so cool. He said, Let's do it. So they did it. And so Roy's car, which no longer looks like this, it's now plain white. Um, was made into a Hot Wheels, and how cool is that for, for Roy? Uh, Roy's Hakoska uh, on Instagram. You should follow him there. Fast and Furious, just plain black with the 10 spokes. like having a plain black with the 10 spokes. Not much more to say. I think this was based on Brian's car, right? In the one, was it five? Fast Five when they were in Brazil. Didn't really play a prominent role in the uh, movie, but I think it was just a chance for Paul Walker to show off some of his skylines, which no argument there. Back to premium. This is now we're getting the most recent releases with, uh, this is team transport. Another friend yeah, I'm name dropping in this video. So deal with it. Uh, Eric Bizzik at JDM legends. Uh, he's had his logo on a few hot wheels and this was a really cool version. Obviously this was done with the JDM legends truck and team transport. You can see JDML on the back and that racing style returns in red. So, You've got that set in green, blue, and red. Maybe they'll do a yellow one one of these days. I think yellow was the other color. Maybe there have been more after that too, but I'm not entirely sure. You Skyline uh, aficionados could let me know. But I really like this one because this is the one version of the three racing cars that gets not only full premium, but full detailing on the front and the back, top everything. It's really, really nice. And I would say of all the Hakoskas, that's my favorite version is the Team Transport in red. Five pack version, a little bit of a drab color and drab deco, but it is a skyline and I don't care what deco they put on the skyline, I am going to collect this one. 
Really, really big fan of the casting. Not a big fan of this uh, of this deco. I can't remember what was it. Nightburners was the five pack. And then the last release up to the camouflage was the retro or nostalgic Fast and Furious, where they took the deco of the R34, added it to the Koska. Loved the idea. Loved the execution. While I'm not really keen on the Fast and Furious decos that aren't stock, um, I really like this idea and to. To give us this car was, I think, really, really clever. And um, very happy to have it in the collection, along with all the other models. Like that Sylvia, I've mentioned it with the Mona Lisa. Didn't like the Deco, but it's a cool it's a cool release, and I'm glad they did it. And this is a cool version as well. All right, add the camouflage. We've already seen that. That is a quick walkthrough of all of the Skylines, of the Hakoska Skylines. You can see in the background there's a bunch of other Skylines. We'll get to that in another video. That should be fun, so prepare nonetheless that's your camo set uh, don't go find it now it's going to be if you don't already have it it'll be in stores for a long time you'll see it restocked and restocked so once we can get back and do the hunting this is not the time to do it but once that time comes uh, that set will be there or buy it online if you need to all right guys thanks for watching sorry about what happened yesterday with the live feed this is my makeup video and you've got all of the hokoska skylines together more to come bye